Hi to everyone, I'm Chotarokucho79 and in this video I'm gonna show you the 6th and for the moment the last part of my PlayStation 4 game collection. Next week I'm going back to the Rare PS3 guide. If you're new to my channel don't forget to subscribe because I upload videos that will help you with your collection every single week. Let me know in the comments which game I should add into my collection. But let's start! The first game is Dishonored Definitive Edition. It's a first-person stealth action game developed by Arkane Studios and published by Bethesda. The game has been originally released in 2012 for PS3 and in 2015 has been released for PS4 with this mastered version that features improved graphics and includes all DLCs. The original PS3 version scored 89 on Metacritic while this remastered scored 80. This will be the next game I'll play on PlayStation 4 when I finished with uh, Gears of War 2 on Xbox One. Uh, I paid it 10 euros and I also have the um, PS3 version. Dishonored 2. The direct sequel of the first Dishonored. Uh, this time around we control two different main characters. Corvo and Emily, and each one with different set of skills and abilities. The game was critically acclaimed, scored uh, 88 on Metacritic, and improved a lot of aspects of the first chapter, uh, from the abilities tree to the art direction and the game's world. One of the reasons why I'll play Dishonored uh, next is because I really can't wait to play this sequel. Uh, bought few weeks ago for 20 euros. DMC Devil May Cry Definitive Edition. It's a third person hack and slash video game developed by Ninja Theory, the fifth installment and reboot of the Devil May Cry franchise. Uh, this is uh, the remastered version released in 2015 for PS4 with enhanced graphic and 60 frames per second. Included new features and all DLCs. Uh, a lot of fans were disappointed with the new uh, Dante design, but overall the game received positive reviews, scoring 80, 83 on Metacritic. Uh, I played the original Devil May Cry uh, on PS2 and Devil May Cry 4 on PS3, and I liked both. I bought this definitive edition for 10 euros, and I intend to finally play also this chapter of Devil, Devil May Cry. Murder it, Soul Suspect. It's a third-person action-adventure stealth game with mystery elements. Developed by Airtight Games, it received mixed reviews scoring 59 on Metacritic. The game was criticized for the short length and combat system. Uh, you play from the perspective of the protagonist that has been murdered and he came back as ghost, finding clues to hunt down his killer. Uh, with some investigation sequences that reminds me a little bit of L.A. Noir. I paid it only uh, 8 euros and I'm not sure if I want to play it. Rayman Legends It's a platform adventure video game developed and published by Ubisoft, the fifth main installment in the Rayman series. The game was critically acclaimed, managing to score 90 on Metacritic, and the critics praised the colorful graphics, the level design and the gameplay mechanics in general. Uh, this is the best platforming on uh, PS4 and one of the best ever created. Uh, I paid it only 10 euros and I strongly suggest you to play this game. Sleeping Dogs Definitive Edition It's a third person action shooter open world with gameplay focusing on fighting, shooting and parkour mechanics. Many say uh, this is the Chinese version of GTA. In fact, the game is set in Hong Kong and has a similar open world structure with main quests to complete in order to continue the story, but with a series of side activities available on the map. Um, it also reminds me uh, of Yakuza game. Uh, the game received positive reviews, scoring 77 on Metacritic, I hadn't got the chance to play it on PS3, and now thanks to this uh, definitive edition, I'll play it on PS4. Thief. It's a first-person stealth adventure game developed by Eidos Montreal, and it's a reboot of the Thief series. The game received mixed reviews, scoring 67 on Metacritic. It has a lot in common with Dishonored, uh, from the stealth core gameplay to the graphics, steampunk world, but didn't manage to reach the same quality in characters, story and level design. 
uh, it's very cheap you can easily find it under ten dollars so if you want to add it into your collection why not the Elder Scrolls Online Tamriel Unlimited uh, it's MMORPG developed by Zenimax Online Studios and it's the first open-ended uh, multiplayer game for Elder Scrolls franchise. Uh, at its release, the game received mixed reviews and presented a uh, monthly subscription. Uh, then the game was re-released as a Tamriel Unlimited and the monthly subscription was removed. I'm not into online multiplayer and if I have time, uh, I honestly prefer to play Skyrim than this one, but I found this copy included um, the steelbook and only for nine euros so I bought it Watch Dogs it's a third-person shooter action open world developed and published by Ubisoft received positive reviews scoring 18 on Metacritic the game set in Chicago and along with shooting section and car chases introduces an interesting hacking system that allows you to hack cameras all over the city uh, at release the game was also criticized for the evident downgrade compared with the first demo showed at the A3 in 2012. Uh, I played and completed the game two years ago, I found it okay. Uh, like most of the Ubisoft games, uh, side activities uh, tend to, to get repetitive with time. The main character was a little bit boring, but overall was a good game. I paid it 10 euros for this uh, steelbook edition. Wolfenstein, The New Order. It's a first-person shooter developed by Machine Games set in alternative history 60s Europe where the Nazi won the World War II and our protagonist, an American war veteran, uh, trying to prevent them from ruling over the world. Uh, the game received positive reviews scoring 79 on Metacritic and it's a single player only. There is no multiplayer at all. Uh, I completed the game and I have to say that this is my favorite per first-person shooter on PS4. Uh, if you like first-person shooter with strong uh, single-player campaign, solid gameplay and compelling story, I highly recommend you this one. And this is the standalone expansion set before the events of the New Order, Wolfenstein The Old Blood. It's a first-person shooter that managed to score 76 on Metacritic. Now, compared to the New Order, the story is weaker, but the rest of the game is totally worth playing. Uh, the length is also not bad for a DLC. It took me about 7 hours to complete it, and I paid it 10 euros. Um, I really love when DLC are released um, standalone and with a physical copy, and I wish more publishers would do the same. So this was it for today, if you liked the video clicking the like button is not a bad idea and if you want to see more of these episodes, subscribing is the best way to stay tuned my channel. Uh, watch also my previous videos if you missed them and see you in the next episode.